Busy, busy day. We've got a brunch with a friend who's it's their birthday. Happy birthday, Jen. Um, I've got to go up to work and get some lesson plans done. Got to do Ask Gary and anything, and then we're eating dinner with my folks. So busy, busy day. I got to get started. Oh, much better. Let's go. Right? It's like... Also, real quick, just my, uh, not teacher tip of the day, but... Aaron tip of the day. I'm going to start reading this book again, The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. Um, this is life changing. It's super tiny. You can read it in the weekend, but the four agreements inside this book really help balance out how you feel about people, events, circumstances, and it really helps you just kind of find a middle ground in your life. So I'm going to read this again. I was talking to some teachers about it and I thought, you know what? I need to reread this. So four agreements, do it. He'll play when we get in the car. Bye, boys. Ooh, it is windy this morning. So yesterday was 90 degrees. Today is gonna drop down and then I think on Monday or Tuesday the high is like 39, so drastic change. The uh, happy camper. That's so much chicken though. I'm not gonna eat that. I don't want that. We are back. It is super late, so I'm gonna go very quickly. Right there. I'm gonna go very quickly through these questions. Um, Rosinda Laura asks, um, number one, how well do you keep? How do you keep track of your students' um, advancements and developments? I made an Excel sheet on my iPad, and I just go through. And as they can do certain skills, I just check those off. So that when it comes time to report card, I have all that data. Number two, which book do you use for teaching English as a native speaker? I don't have a specific book I use. I use the same program as I am for the other students for reading. Um, it's not a book, it's a program. It's called Balanced Literacy. Number three, why do you always go so elegant to work? Um, I don't have to do that. Um, we do have a certain dress code, but I go above hand, um, above and beyond, because I enjoy looking nice. I like looking dapper. Um, it makes me feel good. When I feel good, I feel like I'm ready for the kids. 
Number four, um, what do you do if a kid misbehaves? So I use love and logic. So I usually tell them um, either they owe me time because they wasted my time or they owe me money out of the economy that we have in the classroom or um, try not to worry about it, I'll take care of it later and then it's usually we have to practice that behavior I want. And then they say hello to Elizabeth, so I'll, I'll relay that message. FKUPEC, don't know how to pronounce it, asks about how to control Chromebooks from um, one teacher computer. Yeah, that app was through Google Classroom, and I'm not sure the exact name of it, but I believe it's called um, Google Classroom Send or something like that. I'll look and see if I can post that maybe tomorrow when I ask. Um, also, they turned on Hello Google or yeah, hello Google on all of the Chromebooks and they said, hello Google, please open this and it opened on all of them. So, but I'll find that program. I'll probably post that on tomorrow's video. Um, another question from FKUPC. Would you please show each of your classroom rules with the hand signal? Yep. So my rules are rule number one, make smart choices. Rule number two, use helpful hands and words. Rule number three, follow directions quickly. And rule number four, take turns speaking. And uh, did you create the poster with the rules? Are they available? Um, yeah, I just got those, each of those pictures off of Google and um, put them and just made it really quick. If you'd like the poster um, or in my information on YouTube is my email, feel free to email me and I'll um, try to see if I can get a PDF of them. Um, Rosenda Lara, P.S. My son wonders, what do you think about Betsy DeVos? Are you afraid of what it might mean for the future of education? Um, not excited about it. Really wanted to see someone who has educational experience leading educators. Um, it's going to have to be a wait and see because there's nothing I can do about it. Hopefully she starts listening to teachers who are vocal and lets her know um, what we need from her and her position. I'm concerned because I don't think vouchers can work in America. Um, that's a whole other subject. Not excited about it. Um, Kevin Crossan. What has been the scariest moment flying the drone? Does your comfort level increase with more air time? Scariest moment actually he was this morning. We had a cold front come in. The sky was beautiful with the clouds. Sent the drone up to get some um, video of the sunrise and it was so windy when I sent it up that it just started getting pulled away and I had it full throttle trying to come back and it was moving like two inches at a time. So pretty scary. Thought I was gonna have to just land it several blocks away and run and go get it. So. Definitely scared me. And then do you get um, more comfort level? Yeah, absolutely. Flying today in Austin between the buildings or this week would not have done that when I first got the drone. As I'm comfortable with the controls, I'm more comfortable as I fly it. Tyrone, Mr. Mr. Wolfie asks, how is it in Lubbock? Lubbock's great. How is it in Lubbock and your training? Um, I'm not sure if you're asking about the technology training I just went to, but um, Lubbock is really good. We're just starting to catch up with technology, so um, it's a good time to be in Lubbock ISD at the moment. And what is experienced teaching? Um, I think experienced teaching is when you have somebody who has made a lot of mistakes and has grown from those and is able to pass those along. <clears throat> all right. Tech for Networkers asks, how do you keep all those different clips organized in your vlog per episode? So I just use them in the photo app and it organizes them by date. So as I'm vlog um, editing the vlog, I just use the videos from that folder that is the date. Um, also, Betsy DeVos never attended public school. Her children didn't attend public school. She has no teaching experience, no experience handling a budget. What kind of plan they have for America's children? Um, yeah, I don't know what their plan is. I really hope it's not um, privatizing education and giving out voucher systems because I think that works in small countries who are not as diverse. But in America, when we educate all children, I don't think that that um, will work. Um, that's just my opinion. I'm not an expert in that. Ex you know, in that I'm expert in kindergarten. But I wish that we had got a teacher to be heading education. All right, let's move over to Facebook. All right, now we're on to the Facebook questions. Brandon Bounds asked, multi beer today or hoppy? Uh, because it's getting colder, I would go with a high alcohol multi beer. It's nice and warming, makes you feel good when it's cold. And Joan Deming Combs, hey Joan, asks, best technology app you've used in the classroom? I haven't used it yet, but the one that I've just learned about that I'm definitely gonna use is called Seesaw, which is a way for younger kids who can't really sign into their Google account and manage their apps that way. Um, can save everything they're doing on the iPad or their Chromebook in their own digital portfolio. Parents can see the kids' digital portfolio. I can talk to parents. It's a way to just really get it all together in the classroom. Super excited about that one. 
All right, well, that was all of the Q&A questions I got. Thank you all for posting those questions. I try to do these every week unless I'm on vacation. Anyway, it's time for bed, so I'm going to go ahead and go to bed. But thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you tomorrow. And as always, if you like the daily videos and you want to help support, like, comment, and share, click up here for yesterday's, click down here for some random video, over here if you haven't subscribed, and follow me on social media. See you tomorrow.